tell me about the two photos. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, that's, you know, one late night. The top one was certainly one late night in uh, Mexico where mm -hmm. we filmed the movie, which is strange, but true. <laughs> Um, in the Rosarito one winter, and the bottom one was one late night in Saint-Tropez, where um, a painting of mine uh -huh. behind us was um, auctioned off for the Leonardo DiCaprio Foundation, which raises millions of dollars for environmental oh. causes and purposes. He does wonderful work. Um, the LDF oh. Foundation, if you want to learn about great causes and... Mm. Um, the state of affairs in terms mm. of mm. Uh, indigenous peoples, deforestation, uh, clean mm. water. It's, mm. a, it's a wonderful resource and oh. a great organization. Oh. And they, have an, they had, they used to hold an auction uh, by very mm. famous artists uh, every year in Saint-Tropez. Yes, uh, 20 years between the first photo and the uh, second photo. Yeah. Uh, uh, for the trio, mm. the most famous uh, love story. It, it, I want to ask you something really, I'm not asking the actor, I'm asking the viewer. Did you change your mind about the judging the trio in Titanic, Rose, Jack, Cal? Meaning that at first we really hated Cal and still a little bit, but now we can see the story a little bit different after we get older and older? This is an interesting lens, and I think it has to do with maybe a little maturity and um, familiarity, which are kind of the same thing. I found that, again, his flaw, Cal's, I guess, was bad programming. You know, he was a bastard, sure, but he was trained, conditioned this way, to be honest, and was surprised, I think, by, by the events. But I think he loved her. That was the idea we played. Um, and, but the arrogance and the hubris was, you know, uh, in, indicative of the age. And that was the fun part mm. about performing mm. that character. Um, I saw the 3D version. Did anyone see the version in 3D when it was re-released? Uh, you, no. You should. Why? It's, it's a, one of the rare occasions that this device, this concept of uh, dimension mm -hmm. and focus is attributed to a, a drama. It's only an action movie at the last hmm. half hour, maybe. Uh, yes. But for two and a half hours, it's a soap opera. Uh -huh. and, <laughs> and you never see 3D in drama. Yes. It's rare. Usually it's things flying at you and it's gimmicky or horror hmm. action movies. And they don't lend themselves well to 3D because things move too fast. Yes. However, when you... 3D in a drama or in anything, they pick a point of focus and it's usually the eyes and everything else to create separation, they defocus mm -hmm. as you stage back. Yes. Now, when you have frames like this that have thousands of people in them oh. or there's a lot, they're very busy, oh. it's, it's um, what you end up doing is falling into the eyes of the actors mm -hmm. while they're talking. And they say they're the windows to the soul. So when you look into Rose or her mother or Cal, you're not just seeing the tuxedo, you're going into the inner work, if the actor's doing their job, yes. which everyone was. Uh -huh. And what I found when I saw the 3D version at a premiere in London with a live orchestra playing in, at the mm -hmm. uh, Royal Albert Hall, it was exquisite, the re-release. Mm. I found myself objectively sympathizing with Cal and her mother. Like I went into, I, I, regardless of the strange, you know, of the, the plot, arrogance, the, uh, all the of that, outsider bad things. You saw her, her terror and desperation at the mm -hmm. thought of being poor and was wondering, why are you doing this to me at this age? And you, and you saw, and I, and I felt um, 
And even then, but this went for a lot of other, all the other actors. I, I went into the inner life of, of characters you normally gloss over. Mm -hmm. And this was a very powerful revelation around the power of 3D and drama. And I really believe we should do more. And age. And age. بعد الفاصل هنرجع لبيلي زين البيزنس مان او رجل الاعمال والحقيقه عنده مفهوم مختلف عن الفن والبيزنس.